in the last episode of... Gosh, I totally forgot what we did in the last episode. Let me check. Okay, we did build a hotel complex and we finished that hotel complex, well, kind of, in the last episode. But now it's time to move forward because uh, the footage you're going to see in this episode is right from the Monday live stream. So we're going to build something else. So sit back, relax and enjoy as always. And now have fun with the new episode of Isana Pali and Erudi having problems to talk. Okay, good, good, good. So here we are back in Isanapali, and um, in today's episode we are doing something that hasn't been favored that much. But your uh, CEO now is um, kind of, you know, going into a project, no matter if there is um, a kind of agreement or not, because it's necessary. And um, today's episode, in terms of what I ask from you guys, is very special. So first of all, before we go into Isla Pali, first things first, have you seen my new series? Have you seen Planet Raw? Planet Raw is a new series where I'm giving away, uh, first of all, the base game of Planet Coaster. If you don't own the game, this is a seriously great chance for you to win a copy of the game. And uh, secondly, I force myself to only build with the core game. So I'm not allowed to use any TMT items and I'm also not allowed to use any of the pieces, uh, coasters, whatever functions of the DLCs that came later than the core game. Obviously, every update is installed yes so everything that came for free is implemented in that series but nothing else so it's about um, I guess 10-ish episodes in the end and I am really willing to see what the game can deliver once you use it as the core game so I, I really want to see how it is for people that could not afford or just simply didn't buy all the DLCs because I'm simply not interested in all of them so for me it's generally normal to browse through the menu and really do not care about if this is a DLC or not, but it was upon no, it was actually until recently where I uh, just discovered with another Steam account where I do not own the game, and I kind of I don't know I I, I did some uh, testing with it, and I got the uh, code from my brother. I, I left it in my and so you know it doesn't really matter. My brother doesn't uh, do not uh, does not. Oh gosh, my talking is so bad today. Uh, my brother does not own uh, all of the DLC, so I opened the game with this uh, shared. Oh yeah, it was the family account. That's why, and I didn't know if it was was my game or his game that is, is kind of linked to the family account. I have no idea. Anyways, um, the, the thing is he didn't really own or he doesn't really own all the DLCs and I was like testing something and I was like seriously shocked by how many pieces I was lacking um, simply because I wasn't paying attention that he does not own all the DLCs and um, yeah I, I had this idea in mind for more than half a year and I finally found the time to start it and actually I didn't really want to hold that back for any for, for longer because I felt like it's seriously time to drop it and yeah that's the reason for it but now we are in Isla Pali I don't want to bother you even longer with this I just wanted to make sure that you guys have the chance to jump over and watch the episode of yesterday there will be one episode a week um, and yeah is all I can say. And now let's focus on Isla Pali because this episode is very special again in terms of what I just said at the beginning, what I do ask from you. So apparently you can see that I am building a tunnel which is to provide the backstage um, or kind of the delivery stuff for backstage areas and stuff like that uh, for the hotel but also to com uh, combine or connect the um, park areas. And now here's the thing, many of you did complain about the idea of having a tunnel and I was looking into those comments and really trying to figure out if there is another way of, of dealing with it and I I could really find a way how we will be able to make a backstage area work so the thing about a normal theme park if you look at aerial views aerial photos I don't know at Google Maps you can see that there is way more backstage area than you would would assume and this is mainly because these theme parks are usually planned out at least to a certain degree um, not every theme park is kind of uh, planned from the beginning some of them are kind of organically grown but we have to always think about this special occasion um, due to which uh, Isla Napali was founded at a theme park. So meanwhile we have a lot of background stories about Isla Napali and one of the most important things is that Isla Napali is a theme park that kind of 
you know, just grew by coincidence. So at the beginning it wasn't really a theme park, it was more of a garden island um, with a little bit of a luxury hotel, um, some fishermen's huts, um, some farms and rice fields, right? And, and some diving spots and that's basically about it. So some of the most rich people only were able to go to that island and all the other people were like locals um, that lived here or maybe locals from the mainland that found this um, area um, interesting or at least uh, good for their uh, kind of uh, a job you know being fishermen or whatnot uh, would be nice to have an island like that however this is like the background story and um, therefore this park cannot be compared to a planned out theme park that is really planned from scratch or at least has has the potential of being planned from scratch so we have to deal with a little bit of a different um, a playground here I want to call it and this is also why we still need to make sure that and this is also another point that you guys came up with and um, which is totally uh, totally fair and it's a fair point to br come up with the point that how are we supposed to bring stuff to the hotel without people seeing it within the park because there is simply just only one connection at the time which is the uh, little pathway which passes the little river that goes down into the canyon so we definitely need something and now about the tunnel you guys complained about the tunnel mainly because of uh, two reasons i think the first reason is um the the realism aspect which i kind of want to counter here because I agree that a tunnel on the island, which is below sea level, is kind of one of the most dump ideas on this planet <laughs> and the most unsecure ideas um, you could come up with. But the fact to have a tunnel which is way above sea level and which has also like a flooding security system is totally doable. And since the theme park has grown over time and the luxury hotel is making quite a bit of money it is absolutely fair to assume that they would be able to b uh, build a tunnel like that and on monday's stream there was someone uh, in the chat who uh, has a little bit of knowledge about tunnel uh, construction and stuff like that so we were kind of calculating how much this tunnel would cost and we ended up with like two and a half um, maybe three three and a half million uh, dollars which for, for like a normal normal person that sounds a lot of money but if you if you look into the fact that some coasters cost easily 10 times as much as that um, this is a really affordable thing to do and I'm I'm simply believing that this is a super genuinely good idea to have a backstage connection like that and we definitely want to have this on this island uh, since otherwise there is no chance to deliver some stuff and to make this even more tangible and to make this to uh, kind of uh, more realistic in general we're gonna build something at the end of the tunnel um, next to the hotel area that will be kind of a docking station um, also for delivery so because I was also thinking about how can I make this all more realistic so I, I was thinking about really what happened in the theme park so what like if you look at Parkitect for example this is not that far from reality all the goods provided to the shops and, and, and food stuff and stuff in, in, in the park also like coasters and stuff like that they all need kind of a connection to a backstage path thing like a staff path thing or at least a road because how are you supposed to deliver goods throughout the whole theme park when it's crowded AF like it is in Isla Apali as we've seen in the guest flow management episode so you have to bring up um, kind of a more backstage oriented flow management where goods are carried from one spot to the other so I'm definitely looking into how we can deal about that so if we look for example into the restaurant area that is next to the beach area this is by far the most easy one because they are connected by the coaster area directly to the storage um, uh, storage uh, rooms this is totally simple also some flat rides are pretty much easily connected um, but then this is already the end of it so we have to think about how can we bring and deliver goods from a storage hub which we don't have yet uh, to the little island uh, to the little areas in the park and here's the thing I was looking into how do islands actually function and one thing we really forgot about is that they do use boats quite a bit 
uh, we simply forgot about boats, right? Just simple boats. And yes, I decided to not use the boat ride because of simply the reason I just brought up. It's definitely pretty ugly with the little um, track below, and I there is like no way to to hide it. So yeah. Um, but this really, the, the thing is boats, the solution is boats. So we do need to make some small docks here and there that are connected with some of the backstage areas. So it's pretty easy that they can carry around these uh, these goods with the boat around the island from a storage hub that will be at the back of the island um, towards these areas. And from there on, they can carry it into the um, actual areas of the part w which, without being seen. So this is the reason. Okay, so yeah, a lot of talk today about these kind of things, but I think these are really important if we want to still call this project hyper-realistic. Um, we definitely need to look into things like that and make it super realistic, um, but always looking at what are the circumstances of this project. So an island is definitely different to a planned out theme park that is on a flat land in the middle of nowhere, right? So um, we have some restrictions that other parks don't have, and this is uh, simply one thing to consider. However, I have one specific question, or not, not speci uh, specific question, but a specific task for you guys in today's comments. I would love if you guys could only comment about things you dislike in Isana Pali. And here's the reason why. Um, recently, I had a lot of great feedback, and I've always try to consider the feedback and positive feedback is always really important as well but today this is really and I really want you to focus on being um, polite constructive but try to point out the things you don't like and the reason for it is I really think that these things move you forward the most it is always nice to hear that you love the project and I, I guarantee you from the next episode you are totally allowed to do that again. Um, you know, I'm still a human being and I do like that feedback, but I really want you to tell me what you don't like about Isla Napali at the moment. It can be the color choice of one ride or it can be the entire path layout, whatever. Please try to forget about if I could feel insulted or whatnot. I'm not because I ask you to say that, right? So don't worry about that. Try to stay nice and positive, at least in, 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 in the words you use. Well, you don't need to shout at me. Please don't shout at me. <laughs> but I, I really want some constructive criticism on this series. And I'm really talking about the island itself. Um, I'm really talking about the layout. I'm talking about the choice of rights. I'm talking about the backstory uh, stories. Whatever you dislike about the project, you personally, it doesn't have to be, you know, a thing that is realistically based or whatnot. If you say, I don't know, I would love to have the volcano 10 meters higher, you're, f you're good to go. You Tell me, you know, uh, if you don't like the color choice of, I don't know, one of the employees, tell me. If you don't like the name of one of the employees, tell me. So this is, you know. Tell me what you don't like about Eastern Nepali. And um, for me, this is this is very helpful because I can really look into the things that pop up most and try to see if we can find a solution for it, right? Because recently the progress has been super awesome in the park, but I felt it was too easy. I, I, I simply felt it was too straightforward, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. But it, it really felt, um, yeah that we didn't have too many problems and this is for a hyper realistic um, uh, yeah, kind of approach we have here that can't be the way we want to go so we do need to have some constructive cri uh, constructive criticism and this is also why I chose to build the tunnel uh, against all the odds that you guys seem to not like it but I feel like we need something like that and this is why I brought that up and we can discuss about that we definitely can but at the moment it states that the tunnel is here and I definitely want to finish that and connect all the parts and then we can sit down again maybe in a stream or whatnot and discuss about if you really think still think that the tunnel is a bad idea um, and if you bring up enough arguments that kind of you know explain why it still is a bad idea I'm the last one to leave it in only because it was my idea or whatnot, you know? So I really want your idea and your constructive criticism about Easter Napali in the current state, right? So um, please make sure to come up with everything you think uh, you think is uh, a viable uh, thing to mention. So now to explain what I just did the last couple of minutes, because I kind of ignored what's going on in the background, 
I finally chose what I want to do in the crate and I wanted to put in another kids ride which is the balloon ride and I wanted to make a cover above it which has the simple reason that it will be pretty humid and uh, pretty wet in this crate since of all the waterfalls coming down also the, the kind of air would be um, in this area quite a bit and uh, there will be quite a bit of pressure so that there's a lot of rain and therefore we have this cover above that one and this little area over here will be another little food court with some kids playground thingies uh, to make sure that this is a nice and enjoyable area for the families yeah that's about today's episode um, I won't give you cinematics at the end of this episode unfortunately because there's simply nothing to show maybe I do I'm not quite sure to, to be honest but I try to um, whatever I hope you have a great day today and uh, yeah hope to see you in the next episode until then you are free to watch uh, Planet Raw which is linked in the description or um, has popped up at the beginning of the video and if not you just stay and wait for the next Isla Napali episode which will be there on Sunday as always so enjoy your day and enjoy your time until next time bye bye